today we are traveling initially towards the Kingdom Hall and then I'm going to take you to see a legacy project of Pakistan out, out here in uh, Islamabad a fabulous project that has been in the making for years and years and years it's had its unofficial launch in the US, London and also Australia and various different parts of the world so watch this space so let's go and enter uh, the, the Giga Mall and as you can see they've been delivering excellence since 1956 and they've got some further developments on at the moment too so we've entered Giga Mall through the uh, uh, escalator and let me show you around if you're impressed by these type of things there we go we have the diamond crown selling meters of jewelry so what's your attitude when you see a jewelry shop? What's going through your neurology? What is it that you're thinking? As opposed to seeing some exercise machines. Or perhaps some, or perhaps you see some sweets. So your endorphins, what's that going on in your mind? Sweets, and lots of sweets. So let's show you. And the guy's going to come and sell something. Asalaamu Alaikum. How are you brother? Sir, I am fine. Do you like apartments? Do you like apartments? Do you like location? Do you like the location? Do you like the location? Do you like the location? That was interesting. Very interesting. Uh, because the, the, the uh, Giga guys have a... a, a re I can't even say it. Have a real estate project going on. So every time you come in, coming into the building, Lots of them will, will grab you. Not that advertising, but I think it's nice nice to uh, well. Because I'm in somebody else's building, this is their place, so I must respect it as well. And we are now on the mezzanine floor. And there's more shops. And if you fancy getting fat and whacking in 40,000 calories like within five minutes and then be hungry two hours later you want to whack those um, and the likelihood is we're looking for our female counterparts they will be <laughs> is that a generalization no that's not a generalization so it looks all crest views every time you come in they're like want you to buy like quickly buy some of these or probably not any of them actually I'm more likely to be eating this in small portions of course so in normal words uh, you'd expect the lower ground floor to be the uh, ground floor and then you expect the first floor to be the first floor but it doesn't work like that if there's a lower ground basement floor then there's a tele excel floor then there's a lower ground floor and then check that out uh, oh look what do they have they have currency in Pakistan it's Pakistani currency next to a good old galaxy so here we go let's walk you around da, 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 da. and then if you're someone like me you've got 73 watches let's carry on oh and there's Cougar and there's Janay Jamshed a more like my type of shop a juice station And you can smell nice in there and then you can wear these clothes and maybe listen to something at the same time so I think I think let's go further up you just go round and round um, and if you suffer from heights and dizziness then this is not the place to be what they're telling us on here super Friday sale so you've got to work out when it's super and when it's Friday and when it's a sale it's a super Friday sale and on the other side there's some breakout going on so we've got to be yeah we've got to be culturally very sensitive as well in a place like Pakistan you've got to be extremely careful with the with the camera for cultural reasons otherwise the punch in the okay it's quite regular so what do we have we have watches and more watches there's a grand shopping experience and there's the ice factory I can't see any fa ice or well, maybe there is some ice actually and then the potato factory and there's uh, some illegal parking going on Batik and Zine 
And one. And look, to be fair, look. Credit where credit's due. Somebody had to think of something on this scale out in Pakistan. This was unheard of like 20 years ago. And it would be unheard of like 20 odd years plus or go. Jibra. Alright. Jazakallah. Lava Khushraki. Thank you so much. And look, they've got these shuttle services here as well. And the brother has very kindly asked me, okay, whether we would, we would uh, like a lift. Bye, Sarah. Din service hota hai. Twelve, twelve hours. Twelve hours ka service, okay? Or or hai? Hundred per person ticket. So it's hundred rupees per person. However, if you've got mobility issues um, and you have children with you, a hundred rupees, ladies and gents, is about fifty pence. So it's well worth it. Thank you, brother. Yeah, I'll get all the Thank you. That was that was a little naughty because I thought the service was free. Not that I was taking the service anyway, but for a hundred rupees, it's absolutely nothing. So I was just saying, look, somebody had to think of something like this and have a vision for something like this. And I was extremely blessed to uh, speak to the owners of this building about three or four months ago. I was just wandering around and uh, said salam to someone and we ended up chatting and I went to see a gentleman called Javed Qureshi, who's one of the senior consultants. He took me to uh, see Colonel Sahib, was from KPK in, uh, out in Pakistan. I forgot his name. Oh my goodness! Uh, we had a good old chat. It was VIP treatment, and it was a, a wonderful day. What I found as well, right? The Choo Choo train, the Giga Mall Express. Okay, I believe this goes round for the majority of the day as well. Okay, it's a great round for children. Ch Well, sometimes you just have to believe. <laughs> sometimes you just have to be a believer. Because beliefs are just very interesting things. They're just strongly held opinions about a lot of things. And for some people, their beliefs go beyond belief and it will get them into a lot of trouble. But beliefs are also changeable as well. And you have experiences in life about different things your beliefs change so here's something to think about think about when you believe that okay you couldn't drive a car you believe that you wouldn't pass your A level you believe that you would not attain your degree you would not believe that the mile could be run in four minutes but now your beliefs have changed So out in the villages of Pakistan, I attempted to explain to someone what is a lift? How does a lift go from the bottom to the top? So how does a lift go from the bottom to the top and from the top to the bottom? So I explained to him that. Or words to this effect that I up to a set of doors, the doors open automatically, you step into the room, the doors close and the room elevates itself or simply 
lowers itself. And what he said, <laughs> the look on his face was amazing. That how can you get into a room and the doors open and then the doors close and the room goes to the top because he was a villager. He looks at me and probably thought and said, <laughs> from which planet have you just dropped down onto the earth? Now, at a different time, I attempted to explain to him what is an escalator that you walk up to some steps which are made of steel and you stand on these steps and the steps simply move mechanically or to him by themselves and you reach the next floor or in the opposite way you stand on an escalator and simply the steps go down by themselves now could you ex could you imagine what he felt like when I explained that process to him? Because look, beliefs are very interesting. Now some years later, he's probably been to Gigamall, probably seen an escalator, and he's probably experienced a lift. So now his Beliefs have changed, and that's how it happens. Your beliefs can change. In a similar way, that there's a place called the Shoe Planet. So let me ask you a question. How do you know Gigamall exists? How do you know Japan exists? How do you know the United States of America exists? Bye, Mr. Lambay. So a very uh, nice gentleman from security spoke to me and he said uh, blogging is not allowed in Gigamall oh well there you go I've learned something every day so that's the end of that okay apparently I've been asked to do a test at a place called Riwayat, which is amongst many, right across. I've never done this before, and this is my uh, niece, right? Okay, saying I've got to taste this. So here we go. Here's the test. Bismillah wa barakatullah. That's like sweet and it's sour and I would guess it will probably make you fat if you eat loads of them. But Alhamdulillah it's very nice. And this is at the food court of Giga Mall upstairs. The place is called Riwayat and this is the receipt. There you go. It's about 1,998 rupees and they must be having a discount but this is it. Three chicken reshmi kebabs, three malai botis, mughli handi, biryani rice, two naan and one litre drink. And it looks very, very, very nice. And look, they have lots of things here. So, uh, one of the guys who's behind the counter and his name is is by Abdul Basit at Riwayat and my question to him is is that by Abdul Basit sab jago mein se to yahan kafi yani restaurants se McDonald's se lekar KFC tak Hardee's wagaira wagaira lekin ye khana kafi laziz that is very fresh lag raha hai to aap logo ko kyun khane ke liye aa jaye why choose this place? Out of countries, America, India, 
तो हम बेसिकली पाकिस्तानी होने के नाते हमने सोचा कि हम भी यहाँ कोई कैसी और यूनिक चीज़ तैयार करें सब लोगों को पसंद आए माशा सबसे पहली वजह ये है कि हम खाना फ्रेश कैसे हमारा बार भी होता है कढ़ाई हांडी ईच एंड एवरी थिंग हमारी फ्रेश होगी और आप जब खाएंगे तो आपको वगैरह पता नहीं आएगा कि हमारा खाना फ्रेश है या नहीं ओके ग्रेट इसलिए हमने सोचा कि जो कि बाहर से बंदा है पाकिस्तान का बंदा है जिसे अच्छी चीज़ कहीं ना मिले तो हम कोशिश कर देंगे उसे अच्छी चीज़ दे सकते हैं सो रिवायात इज़ पाकिस्तानी खुशीन ये इस्लाम आबाद का ब्रांड है इस्लाम आबाद से नहीं से Great. Okay. Our uh, riwayat ka matlab. What does it mean? Riwayat. Uh, basically, Pakistan ne is tarah ke tradition khane nahi milte the. To humne ise thoda riwayat ko nazar rakhte hue is tarah ke khane ke liye. Jazakallah. Thank you, Bhai Abdul Basit. Ke Allah Pak barkat dale, Bhai. Thank you. Guys, Raj Kachori. I'm in the food court in Giga. And I normally do not eat this sort of stuff. I had a taste earlier on. So I'm just going to have a bit of fun. Look at this. So these are called gol guppy. And I'm looking at them for the first time. Now what do we have? We appear to have some channa in there. It looks like some carrots. Um sauce of some kind. And it looks like imli or tamarind sauce and I think that's imli water. So let's have a go at this again. I feel like one of those food bloggers now that uh, look like athletes. That was a joke laugh. So put some imbli water on there. And when you have a beard, you have to be extra careful. So here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Bismillahi ala barakatillah and I've managed to crush it and here we go Oh, oh more, oh, 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 oh I'm being helped, Bismillahi ala barakatillah I've got that used to this Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal Just check the calorific value I do not want to get addicted to this stuff. But it's nice. Let your spirit play. And if I just switch over, look, this is going on. Stay off this stuff. It will make you fat. <laughs> Can't believe I've said that. Joking aside. Alhamdulillah ala kulli hal. Which of the blessings of my Lord will I count? Infinite blessings. Breathing to eating to seeing to traveling to enjoyment. All the fruits of the earth. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us in a state of gratitude and gratefulness. Allahumma rabbana atina fi dunya hasanat wa fi May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the punishments. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the boss. The best of dunya and akhirah. And look at this, mashallah. Yeah? Oh, it's nice. It's nice and soft. It's nice and warm. And I'm going to have just one more. Honestly, just one more. So here we go. Just one more. Oh. Honestly, I feel like those guys that tell a whole lot of lies. A whole lot of lies. I mean, sort of economical with the truth, perhaps not. They're not lies, but they're not the truth as well. They're sort of on, on the borderline. Uh, sort of like some, like some governments, not quite there, but they're sort of like truthful, but maybe not quite. I feel like one of those guys right now. We're walking down with some juice. Let's taste some rice. Let's taste some rice. It's 
very bland in taste. Very, very bland. It's almost like watery. That was different. So in our household, the food is quite mild in spice. So everybody eats them at home in comparison to some uh, households. However, currently my uh, taste buds are on fire. So I think what we need to do is uh, neutralize it with some yogurt, uh, a yogurt type of drink. So let me see what I can try. But hope you enjoyed the mini day out with us. Just a little bit of fun, just a little bit of light heart heartedness. And remember the way you think is the way you feel. And if you have positive thoughts and attempt to eat well, sleep well, look after yourself, look after your diet, have good nutrition, have rest. And balance with your spirituality you will find that most of the things also fall into place have a wonderful blessed day so it's night time in Islamabad and we have our house very well known in the mall. This is sometimes known as the GT Road, the Grand Trunk Road. And Rawat, I believe, goes in the opposite direction. Sometimes it's known as Jalem Road and sometimes it's known as Rawat Road. And we call it all sorts of things, but I think officially it's called the Grand Trunk Road. And apparently, Pakistan's best furniture brand is there. always fun so if you're a, a brand new driver in the United Kingdom and you think your following distance is a bit close check this out oh, oh, 22 carat gold point concept furniture corporation so basically we have Bahriya uh, six, 6, 7 and 8 on our left hand side and 1, 2 and 3 I believe is on the right hand side. driver then you want to learn some confidence techniques through neuro linguistic program on hypno driving <laughs> show you how to keep control of your mind keep control of your emotions look at us again you're doing hello Ababu <laughs> Seven or eight. Oh,